with his wife since she was admitted last month and she's joining us now from the newsroom Dana well, this 27 year old woman has been at Advocate Lutheran General Hospital since August 27th we had a chance to speak with her husband this afternoon who updated us on her condition and how their newborn son is doing and that was one of the hardest things to just hear that your wife is slowly but surely getting worse day by day and you can't do anything about it Donnell Kelly of McHenry has been by his wife Samantha's bedside at Advocate Lutheran General Hospital for the last three weeks. On August 22nd, he tested positive for COVID, and a few days later, his wife and two children got sick. Samantha pregnant with their third child, a baby boy. She was complaining of loss of breath and chest pains and... She's breathing for two, so that's why I was really scared and nervous. Kelly first took his wife to Advocate Sherman Hospital in Elgin. That same night, she was transferred to Lutheran General's ICU. Over the next few days, her health declined. On September 6th, at 32 weeks pregnant, Samantha had an emergency C-section. Baby Holden, weighing five pounds, was admitted into the NICU and is doing well. So I'm the only one that can see him. I don't want to not be here for him. But I also have two other kids at home that need and want me home and I also want to be here for her. Samantha is still struggling, sedated and on a ventilator. Doctors hoping to slowly wean her from that over the next few days. Don L. Kelly, who has been unable to work for the last month, is worried about losing his job and insurance coverage. A friend setting up this GoFundMe page to help with medical costs. Barely, I've been barely holding up. Just try to say positive things and just tell her I love her and tell her that I'm here for her and I'm going to be there for her. We have a link to that GoFundMe page on our website at WGNTV.com. Donnell Kelly says that he is vaccinated, but that his wife was not, that she was nervous to get a COVID shot earlier in her pregnancy, but had recently changed her mind right after her husband tested positive. But before she could get an appointment, she started feeling sick, and at that point, it was too late. Live in the newsroom, Dana Rebick, WGN News. All right, Dana.